Well, the proclaimers I'm on my way from misery to happiness is, is probably a, a symbolic, emblematic and perfect song for the story of the life of Toby Vermeer, who three or so years ago was 26 stones and unhappy in his own words, watching TV at home with a dairy milk in one hand and a Ben and Jerry's in the other, watching his boxing heroes. And then he struck upon the idea, why didn't he become one of those himself? And here he is, having lost stones upon stones. He's become a, a boxer, now he's a fighter and a pro. He's already won, no matter what. Be sure of that, folks. Looking forward to seeing him do himself justice tonight. But here comes Will Hamilton, 27-year-old, looking to make up for lost time. He's a few years out of the ring. He returned in December, where it looked like he was going to get an early stoppage against Ryan Leiborn. And Leiborn, who knows what he's doing, managed to find his feet and work his way through the, the four rounds. Hamilton, who used to spark everybody in the amateurs a few uh, years back, looking to, to get on that knockout train as a pro. Winning is the most important thing, and he's unbeaten so far. You see the tail of the tape. 4-0 so far with a couple of stoppages. And Toby Vermeer, who actually had a draw on his debut against the same opponent, Ryan Leiborn, and learning from that experience and looking to build on it tonight. Here we go, then. Will Hamilton in the... Round one. All black against Toby Vermeer in the purple, white, and orange. And kept for the sharp, fast hands of Hamilton. He knocked out 23 of his 28 opponents in the amateurs. He was renowned as a, as a heavy puncher early on in professional careers. Never easy necessarily to, to spark him out interesting to see I think just building momentum and being busy is going to be the key for this year for Will Hamilton yeah I see him last time out at the end of last year nice relaxed boxing style about him he punches with, with with force and authority you can tell that he backs himself as a puncher but it is tough at this stage of your career when you've only got you know half a dozen rounds in there to sort of set the traps and land the big shots. A competent start from him. He likes to fight with a low left hand. You'll be conscious that side of your face is open. Nice sharp shots from Hamilton so far in his first round, leading from the front, taking the centre of the ring. You can hear the sounds, can't you? Mm. you can hear the sound. But so far, Vermeer is navigating his way on the on the back foot appropriately. Good jab from him. Yeah, good. pleasant start from Vermeer. Like he's he's got his high hands. He's, he's conscious of what might be coming back, but he's trying to trying to look and create his own openings himself. A little blemish just on the left side of the face of Vermeer. I think, I think even although he had the the glove high, the left glove, I think that right hand did get through. You see the. If not a concern on his face, there's an awareness regarding the power of Hamilton. Good from Hamilton there, not telegraphing the right hand, threw that one to the body. It's uh, an intimidating presence from Hamilton through the first round. Vermeer is doing the right thing here. He's very alert and defensive. Some clever stuff from from Hamilton there, you see the jab and then he, he he moved in and that created the opportunity for the right hand to the body. Just thinking about what he's doing through these first couple of minutes. Yeah, Hamilton's got this this jogging rhythm. As Vermeer's moving around at pace, he's sort of jogging himself into range, which is not ideal really, because then he's totally out of his legs. He's not in a position to punch nice and hard. 
This is better from him when he's at oh, this stage. Right hand gone through. And it, I don't know if he's off balance or hurt there, Vermeer, but the right hand kind of swiped him. I think he felt he was getting away with it. And then he just got caught as he was trying to move along the, the ropes. It says the referee's five, and it's just a little look on his face as if to say, mm, yeah, I didn't expect that, and it hurt. So, big moment. Going to be a big seconds initially for, for Vermeer. He's, mentally as much as anything else. Oh, it's a big right hand. Yeah, I think the towel's coming in. I'm not surprised at all that the, the heavy shots that got through at the end of the first round were certainly enough to deter Vermeer emotionally. And it was, a, it was a big effort to come out, I think, psychologically for that second round. I think the corner were on to it. Uh, that's absolutely bang on the right stoppage. The power was simply too much. Yeah, you're right, it was. Let's see if we can see it here. So he faints with the left. I mean, it's the first right hand that goes through, goes through the guard. The ropes keep Vermeer up. And already these corner are up. Ladies and gentlemen, the official time, 12 seconds of round number two. Your winner by TKO, William Hamilton. You kept your promise. You promised there's a knockout, and that is what we saw. Yeah, no, I felt uh, nice and relaxed in there. Just taking my time. And uh, I think in the first minute, I landed a left hook. And I was just seeing his eyes. It was just a matter of time from then. Um, but yeah, I thought it was a good performance. I was nice and relaxed, and got the job done. Yeah, how did it feel back in the ring this time compared to last time? Because last time was after a long, long layoff. Yeah, I'll be honest. Today just felt like, uh, like going to the gym. Uh, yeah, I'm back in the flow now, and I think this year's going to be a great year. Yeah, you looked relaxed, you looked in control there. You say a great year ahead. What is the plan? I mean, the plan is now to go back, talk to my team, and uh, hopefully aim for maybe April and get April time and uh, just keep busy, fighting every other month and uh, yeah, build that record up. And then start maybe stepping it up towards the end of the year, looking towards titles? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I think it's about time now I start stepping up the opponents. Um, yeah, stage by stage, I let my team do all that, but I think it's time. Final word to the support that came out tonight for you. I don't know what, it's unbelievable. Um, people buy the tickets time and time again, and uh, I'm so grateful for it. I've got a great team, Will Jones, Adam Hart, and Chrissy Wooten. Thanks for them for coming in, and thanks to all the sponsors. Um, but yeah, thank you everyone, thank you. Fantastic performance, well done. Cheers, thanks. You keep your promises as well. <laughs>